Metrolinx is moving ahead on the Eddington Crosstown LRT project. Part of the province's $8.4 billion investment in transit expansion for Toronto. Construction will begin by digging tunnels that will carry the future Crosstown vehicles. The project will run underground through the city centre, from west of Keel Street to Laird Drive. The tunnels will be constructed by large tunnel boring machines or TBMs for short. The Crosstown TBMs will be over 80 meters long. Excavation of the launch shaft, where tunneling will begin, is already underway between Black Creek Drive and Keel Street. The TBMs will be assembled in the launch shaft and will bore the first section of tunnels to Allen Road. TBMs operate deep below the surface and there should be no discernible impact to properties from tunnel boring. Regular monitoring of boring activity will be undertaken. The TBMs will drill their way eastward, creating tunnels six and a half meters in diameter at a rate of about 10 meters per day. The spoils from the drilling will be collected by the TBM and carried back on a conveyor belt, then loaded into rail cars and transported to the launch shaft at Keelsdale Park. There, they will be lifted out and stored for later removal. Trucks will pick up the material and carry it out for reuse. The volume of material to be excavated for the Crosstown tunnels will be enormous. Enough material will be removed to fill the Air Canada Centre rink to a height of 580 metres. Precast concrete liners will be placed on the tunnel walls as the TBM drives through. The TBM propels itself forward by pushing on these newly installed concrete panels. At future station locations, the head walls for the station box will be excavated and poured first. Then the TBMs will drill right through the concrete walls. The station box will be excavated during a later phase of the project. When they reach Eglinton West Station, the TBMs will be extracted using a shaft located just west of Allen Road. This will allow the TTC to maintain existing subway service throughout construction and optimize the connection between the new LRT and the subway. The TBMs will be refurbished and reinstalled on Eglinton, just east of Allen Road for the second phase of tunneling to Young Street. After the tunnel excavation is complete, Tracks and other utilities will be constructed inside the new tunnels. During the later stages of station excavation and construction, traffic along these sections of Eglinton will be limited to one lane in each direction for an extended period of time. The project will eventually carry vehicles that will move Torontonians across the city reliably and comfortably, and in half the time as with current options. If you would like more information about the Crosstown, please give us a call, drop by our community office, or visit our website at thecrosstown.ca.